New at six, a turf battle between the Pittsburgh Fire Bureau and the paramedics from the city's Bureau of Emergency Medical Service is still being waged, and it is getting more intense. It's a story that we first told you about a couple of weeks back. And tonight, KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan says the tug of war game they're playing is escalating. They're supposed to work together to ensure the public safety, but Pittsburgh's firefighters and paramedics aren't getting along. We told you about their dispute on the rivers, and now tensions are escalating. On the water and on land, Pittsburgh firefighters and paramedics are fighting a turf battle, and the public is caught in the middle, literally. Recent flap involves a child who's gotten himself trapped between the bars of this jungle gym at West Penn Park. Almost simultaneously, EMS Rescue 1 and Pittsburgh Fire's Engine 6 converge, setting the scene for a confrontation over whose duty it is to extricate a victim. The paramedics union says its members have advanced life support training needed in these situations, and the job is theirs alone. We have people that have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of training, decades of experience in doing this. The Fire Bureau doesn't have experience in doing this. They just lack the expertise that our personnel have. According to Public Safety Department, the two crews assess the situation and decide upon using a hydraulic tool like this one to spread the bars. EMS radios their truck nearby to bring the spreaders, but seeing fire already has the tool on scene, an arriving fire battalion chief orders the fire crew to use it. In his report, the fire chief writes, quote, feeling the child was in distress, I instructed engine and truck six crew to use the spreaders to free the child. And fire union head Ralph Sakura says it was the right call rather than wait on EMS. I know as a parent, as a grandparent, I would not want any more delay in getting my child removed from that situation. The paramedics union calls the action unnecessary and rude. Reckless and, and uh, disrespectful to the EMS crews that were on site. Pittsburgh Fire handled the rescue, handled the child evaluation. We're back. The paramedics returned to their truck, but their union has now filed a grievance against the firefighters, calling the action a breach of contract and policy. And the Public Safety Department is conducting its own investigation bringing the turf war over extrications to a head. For its part, the fire union says its members have the equipment and training but are being thwarted by EMS in using them. The taxpayers, the citizens, have already provided the training and knowledge for our people to the same level for rescue purposes, not as a paramedic, to be able to extricate someone from a situation. Why should the citizens be denied what they've already paid for? Who do you want coming to rescue you from some type of situation like this? Somebody who's probably never done it before? Or do you want somebody who might arrive a couple minutes after that, but has done this countless times throughout their career over many decades of doing this? This incident is now before the Public Safety Department's newly formed Conflict Resolution Board, which is designed to handle these kinds of disputes. We'll let you know what they decide. Reporting in the West End, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.